Welcome back to Rich Tech Industries. My name is Jim, and today we are going to be talking about switch options. Option A is a vertical mechanical float switch. As you can see, this is the piggyback variety. There are two cords, one cord for the switch and one cord for the pump. The vertical float switch slides up the rod, activating the mechanical switch inside of the pump. As water is drained out, the switch drops and disengages. Next up is a dual float switch in a cage. As you will see here is the cage and inside of the cage are two separate switches. Both have the same function. They activate the primary pump. As water rises, this little magnetic switch floats up and activates the pump. If for some reason this float switch malfunctions, the water continues to rise and you have a backup safety net switch. This switch also has a dedicated controller which activates it. This primary pump plugs into the outlet and this guy plugs directly into the wall to operate it. Next up is the integrated vertical float switch. There's one cord that plugs directly into the wall the switch is then integrated into the pump itself. As water rises, the float switch rises up in the water, activating the switch. As water is pumped out, it then comes down and disengages. Next up is a pressure switch. So with the pressure switch, water rises in the basin Air is captured inside of the switch. Pressure is built up. The diaphragm inside of the switch is pushing up, activating the switch inside of the pump. As water is pumped out of the basin, water drops down. So does the pressure. The diaphragm eventually disengages the pump. Inside of the switch, you will see a little tube. This little air hose allows pressure regulation for the unit. So as you can see, there's many different varieties of switches to choose from. You have your pressure switch, which you must be careful when zip tying the cord to the discharge line as it can pinch the hose, malfunctioning the unit. With the integrated vertical float switch, it's old school. Having the switch built into the pump makes a nice clean look with one cord going into the wall. However, if you do have an issue with the switch, the entire unit needs to be pulled out and replaced. With the piggyback style float switch, you have a dedicated cord for the pump and you have a dedicated cord for the switch. If something were to happen to the switch, you can quickly take the switch out, replace it with a new switch, and you're back on your way. With the vertical dual cage float switch, you're getting two switches for the price of one. Magnetic reed switches can have film buildup on them over time, malfunctioning the unit. In this case, we have two. So if that were to happen, you're gonna double the life of the pump activation with the dual cage float switch. The first pump next gen is a top suction pump. Water rises around the pump, gets sucked in and pumped out. With the Zoller, bottom suction. Water comes up underneath, pumps out. With the Pit Boss, it's a top suction pump, which allows the water to come straight into the pump and out. And again, with the Pro Series unit, you're coming through the bottom, pumping out. Bottom suction pumps are great because it allows you to pump water all the way down to the bottom of the basin. However, it can cause what's called air locking. So to prevent that from happening, make sure that you drill a weep hole into the discharge line just where it comes out of the pump. When installing these units, make sure to follow the directions, where to drill your weep holes, if you even need weep holes, and where they should be placed inside of the basin. You want to place these pumps inside of the basin where they're not too close to the wall because they can be hung up. When installing a bottom suction pump, which are options two and four, 
Sometimes it's necessary to put a pedestal underneath them because in sandy areas, especially, sand can get clogged up into that intake. Having a pedestal for these three options protects your pump from getting sand sucked up into it or other debris. There's a lot that goes into the decision-making process when picking out which pump is right for your basement. To make that decision easy for you, give us a call today, 1-800-677-7791.